Hello dear students, good morning. Today in this video, we are going to solve one of the most important questions from circle on sin theorem. So this question is asked in SA 2074 in question number 24. In question number 24, the question is in the given figure AP is perpendicular to BC, BR is perpendicular to AC and CQ is perpendicular to AB. That means we are given the three altitude of triangle ABC. Now we have to prove that angle OPQ is equal to angle OPQ is equal to angle OPR. So let's do the solution. So dear students, let's write on at first given. Given in triangle ABC. So we are given a triangle ABC. In triangle ABC. AP is perpendicular to BC. We are given AP perpendicular to BC. BR perpendicular to AC. BR is perpendicular to AC. And CQ is perpendicular to AB. And CQ is given perpendicular to AB. Let's write on to prove. This means in this question we have to prove that angle OPQ is equal to angle OPQ is equal to angle angle OPQ is equal to angle OPR is equal to angle OPR proof let's write down statements number one so this means this problem is related to conocycle points we are given angle this angles are given 90 degree br is perpendicular ac cq is perpendicular ab and ap is given perpendicular to bc so this means this problem is related to conocycle points so at first we'll show the points b c r q conocycle points this means angle b q c and angle b r c both are standing on the same segment bc and both are equal both are given 90 degree so we can say that the four points Q, B, C, R. We can say that Q, B, C, R. The four points Q, B, C and R are conocyclic. Are conocyclic points. Are conocyclic or we can say conocyclic points. Because angles in the same segment are equal. The reason is because angle bqc is equal to brc angle bqc is equal to brc the two angles bqc and brc both are standing on the same segment bc so we can say that when two angles on the same segment are equal then the points are conocycle points that means two angles angle q and r that means angle bqc and brc both are standing on the same segment and they are equal so when two angles on the same segment are equal, then the points are conocyclic points. Now number two. So this means now if we join Q and R, already we have shown the points B, C, Q, R. Or we can see Q, B, C, R, four points are conocyclic points. So we can write angle Q, B, R is equal to angle Q, C, R. So let's suppose them as A and B. So now we can write angle A is equal to angle B. We can write angle A is equal to angle B. The reason is from statement 1. The reason is from statement 1. Already we have shown four points are conocycle points. So angle QBR, which we have supposed A, and angle QCR, which we have supposed B, both are standing on the same segment QR. So angles in the same segment of circle are equal. So the similarly will show the four points O, P, B, Q, conocycle points because these two angles are given 90 degree. So when we take the sum of these two angles, then we get 180 degree. When the opposite angles of cyclic quad, when the opposite angles of a quadrilateral are supplementary, then the points are conocycle points. So this means in the quadrilateral O, Q, B, P, angle Q and this angle P, P plus Q, we get 180 degree. So opposite angles are cyclic quadrilateral. So we can say the four points O, B, O, Q, B, P are conocycle points. So in number 3, we can write, in number 3, we can write O, Q, 
O Q B P are cono cyclic points. O Q B and P are cono cyclic points. Cono cyclic points. So it is means the reason for this statement is angle O angle O Q B plus O P B is equal to one eighty degree. Angle O Q B angle O Q B which is ninety degree plus angle OPB is equal to 180 degree. So when the opposite angles of a quadrature are supplementary, then the four points are conocyclic points. So number four now in statement number four. Now we can easily write angle A is equal to let's suppose this angle as C. So this means angle A, that means angle OBQ and angle OPQ both are on the same segment OQ. Already we have shown the four points OQ, BP are conocycle points. So the angle OBQ, which we have supposed angle A, and angle OPQ, which we have supposed angle C, both are on the same segment OQ, are on the same segment OQ. So we can write angles A is equal to angle C. So this is from statement three. This is from statement three. Because in statement 3, already we have shown the four points O, Q, B, P are conocycle points. Now in statement number 5, this means now in the statement number 5, the four points C, the four points O, P, C, R, the four points O, P, C, R are conocycle points, are conocyclic points. That means they are the points of the same circle. The reason is same as statement number three. Angle OPC, angle OPC, which is 90 degree, plus angle ORC, which is also 90 degree. The sum is 180 degree. So when the opposite angles of a quadrilateral are supplementary, then the points are conocyclic. So distance in the quadrilateral OPCR, angle P plus angle R, we have got 180 degree. So when the opposite angles of a quad are supplementary, then the points are conocyclic points. So this means now the points O, P, C, R, the points O, P, C, R are already conocyclic points. So we can write angle B is called, let us suppose this angle as D, this angle let us suppose as D. So this means now we can write angle B is called angle D because angle B is standing on the segment O, R and angle D, which we have supposed D, which also is standing on the same cement or and the four points OPCR are conocyclic points. So we can write angle B is equal to angle D. This is from statement number five. Angles in the same segment of circle from statement number five. Now number seven. So this is now we have almost got the proof of the uh, problem of question number 24. So when we combine statement two and four, then we can write b is equal to c b is equal to c this is from statement 3 and 6 and number 8 so this means again if we combine statement 6 and 7 then we can write c is equal to d we can write c is equal to d so this is from statement number 6 and 7 6 and 7 so this is the proof of the quiz number 24 so this means we have proved angle c is called angle d we have proved angle c is equal to angle d angle c is called angle d angle c means angle o p q and angle d means angle o p r angle o p q is equal to angle o p r so this is the solution of question number 24 so before we end the solution of this question uh, let's review the process we have followed to get the proof of the solution of question number 24 this means in this question we are given a triangle abc in which a p uh, B, R and C, Q are given perpendicular and we have to prove that angle O, P, Q is equal to angle O, P, R. So this means in the figure we have supposed as angle C and D. So this is the problem related to conocyclic points. This means if four points satisfy any one of the properties of circle, then the points will be conocyclic points. So in number one, we have taken the four points Q, B, C, R as conocyclic points because angle B, Q, C and angle B, R, C. Both are on the same segment B, C and they are given equal. Both are given 90 degree. So angle Q, B, C, 
angle BQC and BRC on the same semi BCR equals so we can write the four points QBCR are conocyclic points so when the points are conocyclic then we can take angles in the same segment of circle are equal to this means so when we join keyword then we get angle qbr is called angle qcr we can write a is called b from statement one similarly we can show the four points o q b p are conocyclic points this means angle q and angle p both are 90 90 so 90 plus 90 will be 180 degree so in the quadrilateral o q b p the opposite angles the sum of two opposite angles is 180 degrees so we can write OQBPR conocyclic points because angle OQB plus angle OPB both are 90 and the sum is 180 degree so this means now we can write angle A is called angle C because OQBP are conocyclic points similarly we can write the four points OPCR the four points OPCR are conocyclic points because in the quadrilateral OPCR angle OPC and angle ORC both are 90 degrees so 90 plus 90 will be 180 degree so the four points are conocyclic points so this means so after showing four points OPCR conocyclic points we can write angle B is called angle D this angle we have supposed D and this is B so both are on the same segment OR and since the four points are conocyclic points so we can write angle b is called angle d angle d means opr and angle b means angle ocr so we can write angle b is called d so it's from statement five so this means now we have got the proof of almost we have got the proof of the question number 24 so a is called b and b is called d so b b are equal so we can write a is called d so this means if we combine the statement two and four a a both are equal so b is equal to c we can write so this is by combining a statement two and four and if we combine a statement six and seven then we can write lhs are equal so we can write c is equal to d so by combining statement six and seven we have got angle c is equal to angle d so this means this is the proof of c is equal to d means angle opq is equal to opr angle opq is equal to angle opr so this is the proof of the solution of question number 24 and i hope you have understood the proof of the solution of question number 24 which is one of the most important and frequently asked in the exam is so thanks for watching this video and again we'll meet in the next video with a new content till then bye have a nice day